Hey everybody, I just got quite a bit of a surprise today and I was just kind of wandering around my local gaming shop today and I happened to find this on the shelf. Um, I don't know where they got it, uh, but I'm very happy to have finally gotten one and that is the old Warhammer 40k Orc Barricades. This kit's actually been out of print for quite a while and I always wanted to get one but I just never had a chance to. So I finally picked one up. I'm very, very happy I was able to get it. I mean, the package is all yellowed, so who knows where, how, where it's been sitting. Um, but it comes with six pieces of, of barricade, which you know could also be a very good substitute for a uh, Aegis defense line. So you know what? I'm going to open this the bad boy up. And we're going to take a look at each of the pieces individually. Okay, let's so let's take a look at some of these pieces here one at a time. Uh, I didn't have a chance to measure it out, but you know, it's pretty much I've heard other people say that it's pretty close to the size of an actual Aegis defense line So this would make a good substitute for one of those. In fact, that's what people were using them for for a while uh, But then they went out of print So let's take a look at this first one here Try and figure out what all the bits are See, it's like we got a, a Glyph plate here from something um, I don't know what this is. We got some of these spiky bits. I don't know if they're from like the truck front or bumper or something, another glyph plate. I don't really seem to be any two specific parts on here that I can recognize. But, you know, these probably wouldn't be that hard to recreate either, just out of bits of plastic and, and some uh, some material here to use as the ground. Either, but still, I'm very kind of nice. And cut into an orc face here on the on that one, one plate, so that's kind of cool. This is one of the busier ones. Got lots of things going on. You got some conduits here that are damaged. I think those are supposed to look like that. I don't think those are, are mold mold problems. A grill from something. Some more of these uh, like uh, reinforced ram parts. Some wheels, tank wheels. I don't know what kind of tank wheels those are from. I don't think those are from a GW kit actually. Uh, let's see, there's a Cadian helmet. In the back we just got chunks of metal. Now this piece actually had this on it, so it broke. The package was actually damaged. And this was loop broke off in the package, so that's no big deal. It should glow on pretty fairly easily. So this is a nice little shooting window and a look kind of like an orc icon all at the same time. A couple more glyph plates. A fuel can, a headlight from something. Down in there, another fuel can, and of course skulls. You can't have a GW bit without skulls on it. So now this one's this one's even busier. Let's see, we got some. I don't know what this is. We got some stuff over in the fuel can, more wheels that don't look GW, and just armor plates and things stuck in the ground. And this thing's kind of cool. Got this nice great pattern on the back. A couple shells and a few, another fuel can from Imperial Guard. So that's a really cool piece. What is that? Oh. This one again, got a nice stack of uh, marine helmets right here. Marine shoulder pads, more skulls. Full Cadian skeleton holding, still holding his last gun. Got this thing here, which is really cool. Got this hatch, hatch on top, kind of like a, a grot access down into the ground. But I don't know where that's from. I probably just made that fresh, but that looks really cool. Like this this little bit right here, and some piping that's been damaged. Lots of bullet holes. Cadian canteen. Oh, there's a space marine chest plate. Hold it in there. That's really cool. The more I look at these, I mean, you just let's stare at these for like two or three times before you catch everything that's on there. Oh, now this one's kind of cool. It's look like uh, bane, ba bane blade tracks uh, back here. So they got the part you. I think they're too wide for a land raider. So these are probably bane blade tracks. Here's the rest of that one piece with all the work. And there's a big, there's a shooter right there. More armor plates. Cadian thing off the side of a Camaro, and a Space Marine shoulder pad, more skeletons. There's just a lot of really cool 
Little bits here, there's an orc helmet sitting up there. So, yeah, I really like these Bane Blade tracks on here. I think that's a really cool bit. Oh, and a bolter. The bolts are lying on the ground. And lastly, I'm going to get to my favorite part of all. And that's this one, because it looks like it's about half a Gorka Morka truck sticking in the ground. Or sticking out of the ground. Along with some plates, another shooter there. But you got the entire, you got the engine thing part here from the bottom of the Gorka Morka truck and the exhaust pipe. Um, the wheels. The wheels are a little different than what was actually on the trucks. And this one's turned, which of course the original one didn't work. Too, but you can definitely see the Gorka Morka truck, the seat in there, and the uh, headlights on the back. But yeah, this is this is awesome. It's like half of, half of those old trucks just sticking out of the ground as a barricade. Can't think of a better use for them. So yeah, that's the unboxing of the now out of print Games Workshop Resin Orc Barricades. The casting quality looks really good to me. I don't think see any real voids. Very little flashing. Um, and I'm very, very happy I got a set of these um, for not a whole lot of money. I'm going to have to pay the uh, stupid price uh, that they're going for on eBay right now. So that's it for this uh, video. I'll talk to you guys later.